One of the hottest crafts right now to both make and teach is hands down resin art. In this video, I'm going to give you some examples of resin art projects that have worked for us and give you some tips as to how to make this profitable. Fair warning, this video is going to be on the longer side. It's going to be a three minute video. So if you're not in the headspace or mindset to listen to something like that, but you really want to know more about this, make sure that you save the video, share the video, email it to yourself and sign up for our open house because tonight I'm spilling the resin. The resin art has been around for a while now. It seems like in the past maybe 10 years, resin has gotten better and better and people are getting better at using it. Unfortunately, it takes a long time to cure. So how does that translate in craft parties and how do we both teach resin and make it profitable and make it so that people walk out with a finished product that they're very happy with? It's simple. We use UV resin. UV resin is basically the same stuff that they use when you get a gel manicure. It's cured with a light. It takes like about a minute to three minutes and it's hard as a rock when you're done. So this type of resin art works really well with pendants, bookmarks, and ring trays. Side note, one of the interesting things that happened to us is the last resin class we taught, we taught these really beautiful gothic pendants. And we were really surprised when a whole bunch of men showed up to our class. I'm pretty sure they were fathers that were supporting their daughters and they made the most beautiful necklaces and they had a blast. Oh, also, resin art is really great for making keychains. So UV resin is not actually in two parts. It comes in like a glue bottle type thing. Now, because you only need a little tiny bit at a time generally, we will often take the big bottle of resin and put it into little paint pots, like the same kind of pots that you would use for acrylic paint. The only catch is they need to be kept dark so that they don't accidentally harden too soon. Now, when you're teaching a resin art class, you have a couple of different options. You can either take extension cords and put lights at everybody's table, or you can make a little light station where the UV lights live and people get up and they put their projects under the light. When we've taught our classes, we found that the station plan works way better and people actually really enjoy like talking to each other as they move about the room. The nice thing about UV resin is it doesn't stink. Anytime you're teaching a craft party, especially at a bar or restaurant, you want to be really cognizant of like what the smell is going to be. And while some resin is really highly toxic, UV resin, not so much. There are a number of different reasons that you would want to teach resin as opposed to something else. Number one being it's popular. Number two, there's not a whole bunch of like bulk that you have to bring into the restaurant. And number three, your materials are surprisingly inexpensive, like under $5 a person. So I hope this helps. We're teaching a whole class on resin next week in the Tech Craft Teachers Club, so be sure to join.